Hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel with another video on another day on YouTube. Here we go, so I was in Tesco's, I was getting cat's food this morning, early this morning, and I saw this, a brand new drink from Coca-Cola. And I thought, oh, it's marshmallow flavor. That was it, that was me picking up the drink in the shop with the cat's food, saw that, and I got some ice as well because it's gonna be warm next few days, so I got some ice. I saw this and I thought, that's marshmallow flavor. I grabbed that, I tried that. I've not seen it on social media. So I don't really go on social media anyway, to be honest. So I put it in the basket, I'm done, I'm out of Tesco's. When I get home, I look at it again, I'm thinking, oh, let's have a look at this, and it says, The Artist Marshmallows Limited Edition Coca-Cola. Now they only had this in zero sugar, which this is, because when I saw it, I did clock the zero sugar and I did look for the normal one, the classic one, but I don't even know if it's out. So then I thought, who this marshmallow? Googled him. So I was having a bit of research and he's extremely popular, extremely popular. His YouTube channel has got 55 million subscribers. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I've never heard of him. I'm in the wrong generation. I've never heard of him. So I did a bit more further research. And if you, like me, you've never heard of him, I've listened to a few of the songs because he does songs and little various TikToks and other sort of videos on YouTube. He wears a mask. It looks like a marshmallow, I guess, on his head. It's basically, this is how I would sum it up. The music is not for me. I'm of the wrong generation. It's not my cup of tea. To me, it's like a poor man's Daft Punk. He can't say he's original. No way. No way can he say he's original. I don't know if he says he's original. Listen to some Daft Punk. That's real music. This ain't real music. I listened to a few songs. Now, we release some songs on this channel. We ain't saying we're George Michael. We ain't saying we're the next Wham. We ain't saying we're the next Bon Jovi or Metallica. We do it for a bit of fun. We ain't taking it serious. I'm hoping he's doing it for a bit of fun as well, because hopefully he's not taking it serious. I thought our songs were bad. He got 55 million. Mate, it makes our songs look like they're gold discs. Anyway, let's not get bogged down. And also to further sum it up, I would pretty much describe him as the American version of Lad Baby. And I might get a lot of hate through this video, I'm just saying, my generation. Let's taste this. It comes down to this new Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola teaming up so they do creations. Well, I'm joking, see, there's it's a bit of humour in this video, surely. You're not taking me serious, or, or, or am I being serious? Lad Baby, Lad Baby. Right, so, you, so, so YouTube, so um, Coca-Cola do these creations where they turn up with people that are popular. That's how it works. They ain't going to team up with no one like me and Val with our sausage and bean or bean and rice Coca-Cola. They're not, it's not going to happen. They're looking for people that's popular and they've teamed up with this marshmallow to do a limited edition drink and I thought it's going to be marshmallow flavour. It's obvious, isn't it? You put two and two together. I thought it's marshmallow flavour. Then I read further down and it says watermelon strawberry flavour. Now I don't see the connection. Maybe he's... Maybe this marshmallow think he's Harry Styles doing watermelon sugar. I don't have no idea. If you team up with Harry Style, you could probably go for a watermelon strawberry. Because you could taste the watermelon sugar. But I can't see the connection in my two minute of basic research and into marshmallow is what the connection is between a marshmallow and strawberry and watermelon. I don't know. But we'll try it. If it's nice on this channel, we're always fair with our reviews. Let's taste it. 69p Tesco's for that. Now I ain't got a glass, so I can't see if it's coloured in any way, but we'll taste it. Oh, there is a Coke Zero taste. It's a Coke Zero taste. Nah, I think they've messed up with that. I think if you're going to do that, do a marshmallow flavour. Don't try to be clever. There's a Coke Zero taste. 
it's almost as soon as I'm drinking it drying out my mouth. I don't know what that is, that's all the sweeteners and all that sort of stuff in it. So the other taste I'm getting, right this is a very mild, very watered down watermelon taste. First of all I wouldn't buy this again, it's not, it's not horrible, it's not overly enjoyable. It's basically like you've got some Coke Zero and you've got a bit of watermelon and put a tiniest little in it. I'm not getting no strawberry. But as soon as I'm put, like swallowing it, it's like drying out my mouth. It's, I think it's the, I think that's the Coke Zero. I don't I don't think that's Marshmallow's fault. I don't know. If, it, watermelon and strawberry ain't even a new flavour. I, f I think they could have been a bit more clever with this. This is only going to sell because of Mr. Popularity there. Mr. American version of Lab Baby. Mr. I'm trying to be Daft Punk. It's probably a really nice bloke. Yeah, there's a really wild, mild, wild, I wish it was a wild taste. There's a really mild watermelon taste. I'm getting zero strawberry. That is, I'm going to put that down as a disappointment. It's a disappointment for the marshmallow generation. But I'm sure it's going to sell in its bucket loads. If you like watching videos of where I'm too old for anything that's popular, subscribe. <laughs> it's early. When you get to my age and you're up early, and you're down in the shop because the cats are going crazy early. That's, that's, that's what happens. If Coca Cola phone me up and go, oh, look, we see you're not that popular, but we're going to reach out to other people, what flavour do you want to do? Beans and rice, because it's all I can afford. <laughs>